In this session of Fiery Software Demo, we're going to use Fiery Impose to set up a 16-up business card on 12 by 18 stock and save it as a template for later use. So I'm going to select my business card original in Command Workstation Hold Q. I will then right-click and scroll down to Fiery Impose, which opens up the Fiery Impose user interface. I then maximize that, and I can readjust my panes to give me the most area to work in. And my sheet view will represent the final printed output. Page view is for inserting pages, merging files, and using other functions in Fiery Impose. So from here, all we need to do is go to the template drop-down area and choose Gang Up. From there, I can select Repeat and work my way down choosing, first of all, sheet size. So for this instance, we'll use 12 by 18 sheet size. I can come back up here and minimize my sheet view to represent the full page in best resolution possible. From here, since I want this to be a two-sided business card, I'm going to select duplex top to top. Portrait is the correct orientation. And then from there, I can just start to maximize my rows and columns to fit the output to the best possible way on the 12 by 18 sheet. From here, I can also do things like define gutters, or depending on how I'm going to cut the file, rotate images to do head-to-head -head printing, foot-to-foot -foot printing, reversal and reversal alternative. Alternate, I should say. You can also adjust bleeds, scaling, custom or scale to fit. In this case, I will use scale to fit and also define print and trim marks, which we'll do. From there, if everything is good with my business card layout, I can choose to save it as a template for future use. We'll call this Fiery Demo 16 up biz card 12 by 18 to identify the sheet size. From there, if everything's good, I simply close the Fiery Impose interface where I can save the name of the file into the hold queue, I'm going to uh, adjust the name of the file, calling it Fiery Demo. And also choose to save it out as a flattened PDF file for printing on a non fire device or other devices. And there I choose yes. Impose changes my, uh, saves my changes and sends the file back into the Fiery Command Workstation hold queue above the original file where I can then use Fiery Process and Hold to rip the job, put a copy back in the hold queue where I can then do a soft proof for page layout and accuracy. The job shows back up with the darker yellow area indicated as a raster image on top of it, where I can then go ahead and preview it for page layout and accuracy.